Hello and welcome everyone. Uh, this is MATLAB 2020A uh, update third uh, and I'm running this on Mac Air M1 chip. The configuration is 8 GB RAM and 512 GB SSD so we will first of all run some benchmarks uh, so we can do that with uh, bench So mind that I have many other applications running in the background and this is the result and I honestly do not understand this completely what these values represent but you can see this and uh, this machine ranks here and above this you have MacBook Pro Mac OS 10.15.2 which is running on an i5 processor and then you have i5 for fourth generation processor this was unexpected uh, because uh, in the reviews people are comparing this mac macbook with m1 chip uh, with macbook pro uh, with i7 and i9 chips so uh, the this uh, i5 with fourth generation must not be here and then we have intel xeon amd ryzen uh, and uh, you have intel xeon again intel i9 processor so in the top you have ryzen thread dripper which is running at 3.5 gigahertz so this was the bench so let's close this and you can just pause and see the values if you understand this and uh, let's close this now we will run some uh, basic uh, commands uh, so that if you if you have your own you can compare this on your own system so i will start with uh, this command tick and talk which will give you a time uh, it takes to run the program and you can copy this command on your own system and then compare the values of the time taken to compute the uh, calculation so let's start with let's start with a matrix a which is a random matrix and uh, we will do some first matrix multi multiplications and uh, other arithmetic operations on matrix so i will start with a thousand cross thousand matrix and uh, then we uh, will start with a random matrix which is also a thousand cross thousand matrix sorry and uh, now you have to multiply this matrix so let let's say a matrix c is uh, the element multi multiplication of um, a and b and let's see how much time it takes so uh, let's uh, do something else that uh, let's say d equals to we sum all the elements of the of c so that must be sum over all the elements of matrix c and this can taking all the elements here so this will print your d value uh, which is sum of all the elements and this will give the stick and talk will give you the time taken uh, to run this program so let's start with let's go to editor and uh, we are firstly not saving this uh, we'll see if there is any real difference so let's run this directly without saving this and it says there is some error matrix dimensions must agree okay I've made a mistake this is hundred so let's make it thousand and uh, let's clear the screen first and let's run this so elapsed time is this one and uh, 
and now we uh, make it larger because it has done this very uh, <clears throat> quickly so we have thousand and we put three more zeros so one two three everywhere and you have one two three and here also and here also so we have this 10 to the power 6 uh, zero, uh, uh, size of uh, length of the matrix and so we run this directly and there is some problem so we see that so this becomes uh, more than the maximum error size of the um, probably this PC can handle and uh, exceeds maximum error size preference okay so we'll have to reduce this and uh, so we reduce it by uh, no only one zero and let's see what happens all right so now let's run this and it again goes uh, to 74.5 GB which is again very large uh, for this MATLAB to calculate and we will reduce it to one more zero uh, so now we have four zeros now let's run this yeah it's running and it has taken 2.419942 seconds okay and uh, let's say we also want to display uh, this we also want to display the image C which came out and let's see how much time does it take so yeah it took this is a random function random matrix and it took 2.023948 seconds okay and so you can use this to um, to compare the performance uh, because I don't believe that bench uh, benchmark of uh, benchmark performances are the real performances uh, they give you some sort of idealized environment performance or I don't know what uh, uh, so let's we will try to do some more um, let's do the direct metric multiplication this time and see what you get so we'll clear the screen we are clear the variables and uh, now let's run this and see how much time does it take to do the normal matrix multiplication this time we are not doing element wise matrix multiplication and it's running and sticking a bit longer time this time uh, because i believe uh, element wise multiplication is much easier to do so let's wait and watch yeah it took 2.5002 oh, oh the value of d is 2.5002 10 to the power 11 and the elapsed time is 21.721376 seconds so i hope this will help you in realizing um, how much how, how is how is the performance of the your your uh, macbook or your pc and if you should buy this macbook air with m1 chip so i repeat i have 8 gb of ram and 512 gb of hard disk so thank you for watching uh, please give your suggestions in the comments